Good morning. Sorry for the late join. All right. Can anyone hear me? Yep. All right. Good deal. Pull that chat real quick. And of course, here is the link to the meeting notes today. I can go ahead and share screen. I have way too many windows open. All right, there it is. All right, welcome to this week's Cooper Community Meeting, where we talk all about all things Cooper. If everyone can go ahead and jump into the doc and add themselves to the attendees list, I will do so as well. All right. And then, of course, while you're in there, if you have anything to add to agenda, open floor, any specific pull requests or mailing list and bug scrub items that you want special attention on, go ahead and add those now. While we're getting all that filled out, if there is anyone new on the call today who would like to say hello, introduce themselves, maybe um, give us a quick tidbit on what brought you to Kubefort, we'd love to hear from you. And I do mean that. Apologies, I haven't had coffee yet. So if I sound a little practiced and rote, it is not lack of interest. All right. Hello, my name is uh, Corey. I'm from <clears throat> University of Wisconsin, um, looking for a solution um, sent, uh, for essentially services that we provide that still require a GUI interface. Welcome, Corey. Thanks for joining. All right. And it looks like activity in the doc has settled out. Um, Corey, there's uh, community joining links if you're interested in jumping on Twitter, the Google Groups, um, which gives you access to this doc, uh, right access to the doc, um, or anything else. That info is at the top of the doc. And jumping into agenda. Inamar, do you want to go ahead and kick off with your PR draft? Item. And are you with us today? You are on mute if you're speaking, Edomar. Hey guys, can you hear me? Yep, uh, you're a little quiet, but I can hear you. How about now? That is better. OK, so sorry I had some audio issues. No. Um, so um, I also also was. And Itamar, I just lost you. I'm sorry. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. OK, um, so I've also sent a message on a Kubernetes uh, dev mailing list. Basically, it's about uh, these PRs should be uh, converted in order to not run all the tests um, automatically um, and save CI resources. Uh, all we are doing is adding a layer that will hold the PR from merging, um, but it should be converted to draft. So. Um, first question is, um, does, does anybody know how to automate this? And the uh, second question is, um, uh, do, do anyone agree that
to be converted to um, drafts. So there was some cutout in and out there. Um, I'm going to summarize uh, basically what I my takeaway was that um, in order to reduce load on CI and uh, not run automated CI tests on draft PRs, um, we should be setting our PRs to draft until they're ready to start running tests. And um, simultaneously, we're looking for tribal knowledge possibly on how to implement that best. Is that accurate? Yes, thank you. My other issues um, are uh, horrible. No worries. Uh, no worries. <laughs> um, yeah, so if anybody knows how to automate this with Pro and everything, uh, it would be great. Um, but um, if not, then at least we should ask uh, the people to convert it to draft uh, if they're doing a work in progress PR. Of course. All right. Anyone have input on? implementing the draft and PR handling. Um, if we're not gonna get any engagement on that right this second, we might flip that over to the mailing list just for being thorough. Yeah, so I've already sent a mail about it. Okay, got it. Um, let me actually, when we jump into mailing list review, I wanna find that and I will link it back to this agenda item. Um, and I definitely ask that anyone volunteer any information that they can't for that. Okay. Um, oh. Okay, moving on. Um, Andrew Burton's regular reminders this month, of course, that we are deprecating several of the duplicate calendar invites that are out and about. So if you do not have the CNCF organizer um, invite on your calendar, be sure to grab that because all of the others will be removed. Just clean up everyone's calendars. Thank you, Andrew, for handling that. All right, and then let's see, parallel. ARM64 testing. Love to hear about that one. Uh, hello. Welcome. Uh, uh, can you uh, open this link? Yes, I can. Uh, and uh, the last comments, the last one. Okay, here is some update on, on the proposal for parallel testing for ARM64. Uh, I have uh, created three kind cluster on ARM64 server, server and the deployed could be built on each of them. Um, and uh, I have run uh, function tests in the three cluster successfully and all tests has passed. And the function test only for um, with the tag ARM64. Um, uh, so this means uh, our proposal is work, uh, can work. Uh, but I still have some issues um, because I, I uh, tried the bootstrap image in the Kubi World project infra image. But uh, the kind cluster failed to start. So I uh, tried the current image, which comes from Kubernetes uh, project, and it works. Uh, I haven't uh, investigated why, uh, quite deep on why uh, kind, uh, kind cluster 
cannot start on the bootstrap image. It seems uh, related to this statement on root FS. Um, and this also happened on x86, not only on um, 64. So uh, did anyone try to start a kind cluster on uh, in the bootstrap image on x84 before? Uh, do I need to introduce some background on the, this issue? Um, I think that background seems self-explanatory. Um, I've run kind on ARM and x86 without issue, but as far as the this specific uh, issue I haven't run into. Yes, uh, the reason why we do this, the parallel testing for ARM64 is uh, that currently uh, the ARM64 server does not support uh, nested virtualization. And uh, now we only have two server for the uh, Kubivert CI. So if we want to do more tests or uh, do the test frequently, uh, uh, we need to find a way to parallel testing, to do parallel testing on ARM64 server without nested virtualization. So we choose to use uh, uh, the kind, you know, the kind can, uh, start a docker in docker uh, environment. So we don't need uh, to use nested virtualization. We can also have multiple Kubernetes cluster on one server by using the docker in docker environment. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what I do is try to uh, do E2E tests in the uh, in multiple kind of Kubernetes cluster on one server. Yeah, this is the background. And uh, uh, if you can refer to the, uh, the, let me check. Uh, If you can add, add dev, add word has, I'm not sure if my presentation, um, my pronunciation right, also in the comments in the, this issue. Uh, can you- uh, What are you looking for? Go up, yeah, go up. I think uh, when, the uh, Kubernetes uh, Kubivert community have done some works on trying to do the uh, E3 tests in the kind cluster. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just uh, the one before this one. One, yes, this one. Yeah, so I want to know if uh, they face get the same problem when the, when you are trying to start a uh, Kubivert cluster in the kind environment. Um, as far as just does Kubivert run at all in kind? Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Um, I know there's CI testing in on kind in different locations on okay. x86. I do not know about in 
uh, ARM64. OK. Yeah, I, th I think but everything that we run in, in kind is, uh, is not parallel. Um, because, as, because of limited resources, like SRAV, um, mm -hmm. it's quite limited. And then we also run VGPU. Um, and oh, it's yes. also a limited resource. Um, so yeah, n none of this is, is parallel. OK. Uh, I don't need parallel now. But uh, when I try to start only one kind of cluster uh, within the bootstrap image, can I understand what I see? Yes. So yes, yes uh, and I got got some programs. It shows some errors as I put put in the issues. Um, I, I can take a look at this. Um... But uh, maybe you should look at um, uh, the uh, VGPU, um, the VGPU test lane with, with the, uh, the the kind that it uses, um, it, because it's a very simplified um, uh, comparing to what a V does. So maybe mm -hmm. that would also give you some hints. I don't know. Okay. Cool. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right, thanks for bringing that up. And it looks like that's the end of what is on the agenda section. We have some PRs front and center. Um, anything last minute for agenda or open floor? Going once, going twice. Okay. All right. All right, it looks like this is apparently good to go. It needs approval from a reviewer. Yeah, this is just a, a kind of reminder. So basically the PR is ready for review. The pipeline is green. It already has two LGTM labels. And yeah, it would be nice if someone from the approvers could take a look. So this can be move, moved forward. And also this will unblock another PR with the virtual enhancement to enable the attestation in the interactive way. So just a reminder. Okay. About it. Good deal. If anyone wants mm -hmm. to give that some special attention. Hey, Vasily, this is a uh, great work. And uh, yeah, sure, I will uh, talk to some groupers about it. We should push it forward. Yeah, thanks. Awesome. Thank you. And let's see, that was on this. And it's second link there oh. for what's unblocking. Got it. Um, let's see. Hello. Uh, yeah, this just needs a second reviewer because apparently Daniel Belenke is no longer active in the community. Um, so we need to, I'll create a PR to um, edit <coughs> that owner's file. But at the moment, I'm just looking for a second reviewer um, to, to tag and hopefully uh, approve that so we can update the release notes. That would be uh, yeah, good news for you. This just got merged like 20 seconds ago. Oh, okay. Old news. <laughs> Thank Good you. Job. That's what I call action. All right. Good deal. And we can go find that mailing list item and link it back to the topic we mentioned. Um, let's see. Everything more.
All right, if anyone wants to follow up to this, that's the link and also in chat. Um, let's see. We have time still on call. If anyone wants to speak to anything that's on their mind, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick cursory review of bugs. If you have any bugs that you specifically want looked at, drop them on the agenda notes and we will dive into them. Arm is turning into a hot topic. That's fun. I'm going to be doing some other arm stuff later today. I have to reply to this one. What is that? Uh, I have uh, give some comments on this one. Oh, got it. Okay, cool. Thanks. All right, do we need a reviewer on this? Okay, this is a child of this well worked issue. I'm not going to worry about it. All right, and that gets us back. So unless I'm missing anything, I think we covered. Sorry, yeah, I just added something in the open floor. So you are, you awesome. asked them nicely. Um, Go for it, let's hear I thought it. This might be actually rather than me banging my head against the wall, this might be a good forum to raise this. Um, yeah, I ran into an error uh, doing the test work part of the Git, the Git, the Cube the GitHub IO thing um, to test uh, blog updates and stuff like that. Uh, I was just wondering if anyone else has run into this or whether it's an issue with, with my laptop. Uh, specifically, the um, make build underscore image part rounds into a, some kind of a Ruby bundle error. I have not built docs locally for Kubert. Has anyone else on the call? No. You know what? If you're able to post it as an issue on the doc site, might be something that can get some answers asynchronously. Sounds good. I'll do that. Good idea. Thank you. Yeah. 
feel free to ping in the channel if I have cycles this afternoon or tomorrow. I kind of want to try running the docs locally myself too. Cool, will do. All right. All right, with that, I will go ahead and adjourn the meeting. Thank you all. I'll see you same time, same place next week. Thank you. Thank you.